The Internet, a remarkable network of computers throughout the world that enables people to communicate instantaneously across land, ocean, and even outer space, while at the same time provides its users, including you, a wide array of entertainment options, social networking possibilities, and news and information choices. If you're like countless others, you go online frequently to look for facts and figures. But only a small fraction of people know how to use the Internet to its maximum benefit when trying to locate and manage information. For you as a student, that means finding and managing the data you need for reports and term papers. The purpose of this program is to show you how to navigate the Internet efficiently so you can quickly find and organize online information. The more you know about your browser, the program that gets you onto the web and lets you navigate around it, the more likely you'll be able to meet those dual goals of speed and efficiency. As you undoubtedly know, there are many browsers, and for the most part, they're fairly similar. We'll focus on Internet Explorer, since it's by far the most widely used. Internet Explorer sits atop the web page and is composed of five rows, or tiers, when all are turned on. Some provide website information, but most allow you to perform a number of tasks, too many to cover in one program. So we'll focus only on the tasks most useful to students when they gather information for reports or term papers. We'll start on the third tier, the menu bar. Each top or main menu item heads a pull-down list of tasks you can perform. For example, under the File menu, you can save the contents of the web page to a file, the Save As task, print it, or send it via email, either as the page itself or as a link to the page. Emailing a web page or its link can be very useful when you're working on a group or committee project. Under the Edit menu, you can perform a number of tasks similar to those found in word processing programs. For example, you can copy what you've selected and then paste it into a word processing document. That's ideal for quoting accurately, of course. But don't forget to give proper credit by writing citations according to your teacher's instructions. The Favorites menu lists your favorite websites, those you've bookmarked, that is, selected for instant retrieval. Click one, and it immediately takes you to that site. As you may know, you can add a website you're currently visiting to your list of favorites, that is, bookmark it, by holding down your mouse button on Favorites, sliding down to Add to Favorites, and then releasing the button. The pop-up dialog box allows you to rename the website if you wish, or leave it as is. In either case, simply click the Add button to add the site to your favorites list. Now let's say you're working on a term paper or similar project that will require visitations to a lot of different websites, many of which you'll need to return to from time to time. In that case, you may find it useful to create a separate folder that contains links to those sites to speed up retrieval later on. To do that, click Favorites, then Organize Favorites. In the pop-up menu that appears, click the New Folder button. Name the folder and press the Enter key. Now you're ready to place pertinent websites into the folder. The next time you find a website you'll want to refer to later, click Favorites and Add to Favorites. Retitle the page if you want to. This one is run by the Preservation Trust, so we'll make Preservation Trust our new title. Then, in the pull-down menu, select your History Report folder, or however you've titled it, and click Add. A link to the site is now in the folder ready for rapid retrieval. In time, you'll have a collection of appropriate websites ready to be retrieved instantly. Now, let's look at some items on the fourth tier of Internet Explorer. When you click the Star Favorites button on the left, three tabs appear. Favorites, Feeds, and History. If you click the Favorites tab, a pull-down list of all your bookmarked websites appears. Click any of them, and you're taken to its associated website. The Feeds tab isn't pertinent to our discussion here, so we'll move on to the History tab. 
which allows you to look for a site you'd like to revisit but haven't bookmarked. You'll find this feature particularly handy when you meant to bookmark a site but were interrupted and forgot. The pull-down arrow lets you choose